Hi, this is Jonathan Rutter of Agility Works. Today I want to show you the creation of a bill of material in MDG. SAP don't provide a standard object for bill of material in MDG, so this is a custom solution that I've built. I've set up an entry menu for BOM governance and set up a few items in that menu, one of which is the create change BOM. So I click on that that takes me into the create change request for a BOM. So if I give it a description choose a plant this is a drop down which pulls up values from a SAP standard table And what you can see on this screen is um, these fields at the top of the screen are standard and the buttons um, that come with MDG which can be customised and the fields at the bottom are those that I've uh, built as custom for a bomb solution and the ones that show on this screen are the keys um, for a bomb. So go to the next screen. This is also some standard MDG, so you get to put in an explanation of why you need this change request. And obviously you can put some attachments in there as well if you want. Then on this screen it's showing a tab for the header and a tab for the line items. As these screens are fully custom made, obviously the layout, where the fields are, um, the fact that I've got a description underneath the actual element, I could have put that alongside. So these are fully customizable screens. For the line item, we have a table which can have as many rows in as, as you require. Um, this also is a look up to um, SAP standard table, so in this case, the material master. So that's pulled through the, the description from that material master record. Once again, this is into a substandard table. So this gives you the, the opportunity to review your change requests, so the properties of it, any of the information that you've entered, the description if you chose a due date, a priority or a reason, review the actual data in the whole of the thing and then when you're happy with it you can then click on submit. So this is now telling me that change request 202 has been created. So if I now go over to the menu and choose my change requests. I get to see a list of the change requests. This tells me when it was created, who last changed it, the description of the change request and what the status is. And this, generally speaking, will be the status of the workflow that it's in. So if I click on the workflow log, you can see that this is in workflow 1112682 and it has multiple processes. If I click on that, it shows me that it's available to users JR01 and JR02. In the next video, I'll show the processing of that workflow and some of the options that are available to modify the um, visibility of some fields on the screen dependent on the user. Thanks. Bye.